Illegal street racing has been a part of car culture in Japan for many years. The thrill of high speed racing on public roads, the need for speed and a passion for cars have inspired many people to join these illegal clubs all over the world. One of the most notorious of which being the Midnight Club located in Japan. The Midnight Club also known as MNC is a notorious illegal street racing club that originated in Japan. The club was created in the 1880s by a group of car enthusiasts who were tired of the limitations and rules of legal racing. They wanted to push the limits of their cars and experience the thrill of high speed races on public roads. As the club's popularity increased, it quickly became one of Japan's most significant and influential illegal street racing groups ever to exist. The Midnight Club grabbed the attention of both car fans and law enforcement. Due to its distinct style and reputation for hosting some of the most intense and dangerous races. The club's races were typically held on public roads and highways in the early morning hours, hence the nickname Midnight Club. Thousands of spectators watched these races, which were known for the high stakes and risky maneuvers. Many of the competitors were known to be irresponsible, which along with high speeds resulted in a number of accidents and fatalities throughout the years. In this video, we'll look at the story and the history of Midnight Club from its beginning until its collapse. We'll look at why the group was created, how it affected Japan's illegal street racing scene and the whole car scene as a whole, and what legal consequences its members faced. Yoshida, Kato, Tarasawa and Yamada founded Midnight Club in 1987. Four car enthusiasts seeking something more thrilling and intense than the legal racing scene. In the early days, most of the races were spontaneous, with a small group of friends gathering on public roads to compete against one another. These races were often held early in the morning hours, when the roads were less crowded and the chance of being caught was lower. As word of these races spread, more and more people began to participate and the club grew. The club's original goal and objective was simply to create a platform for car enthusiasts to gather and race the vehicles on public roads. There was no official structure or hierarchy in the group and decisions were taken by agreement amongst the members. However, as the club developed in popularity, the founders understood that some rules and restrictions were essential to safeguard the safety of members and the general public. The early days of the Midnight Club were a time of experimentation and discovery as members tested the limits of the cars and themselves. It was a period of friendship and camaraderie as well as a thrill and risk. As the Midnight Club grew in popularity, it quickly became one of Japan's most famous illegal street racing groups. The club gathered attention from a variety of car enthusiasts, from amateurs to professionals, mainly due to its style and reputation for dangerous and thrilling races. The club's races were held on a range of routes, ranging from empty highways to city streets. The races, which were frequently held in the early morning hours, were known for the high stakes and risky maneuvers. Thousands of fans turned out for the races and the club's popularity grew. The club became recognized for its diverse fleet of cars, which included anything from high performance sports cars to modified imports and even vintage cars. Members of the club were recognized for their distinct driving styles and aggressive maneuvers, which added to the excitement and risk of the races. As the club's popularity increased, so did its exclusive membership. The club only admitted the most competent and motivated drivers, and many ambitious racers had to demonstrate their abilities before being accepted as members. Former Midnight Club members have also said the following. Being a part of the Midnight Club was like nothing else I've ever experienced. The races were intense and dangerous, but the camaraderie and sense of community among the members was unmatched. It was a tight-knit group of people who shared a passion for cars and a desire to push the limits. Another member also said the following, The Midnight Club races were the most exhilarating and dangerous things I've ever done. The cars, the speed, the stakes, it was all so intense. But that's what made it so addictive. It's an experience that I'll never forget. 
The club's rise to fame was not limited to the illegal street racing scene. It also went on to topics of media attention with scenes from movies, documentaries and even video games. This attention contributed to the club's growing popularity and influence. At the peak of the Midnight Club, it was considered the best illegal street racing club in Japan. Every race the club held was attended by thousands of people and the members of the club were considered the most skilled drivers in Japan. Even fans from outside of Japan came to attend these races. The club had gained such a large reputation not only in Japan but in the whole entire world. And the club's reputation for exclusivity and its strict membership criteria helped maintain its elite status. The races during this time were known for being extremely dangerous with the club's members having unique driving styles that pushed the limits of their cars and themselves which made their races even more thrilling and even more unique. Nothing like this had ever existed before. The club also organized events such as drift competitions and circuit races. The Midnight Club also had a huge impact on the Japanese car culture as a whole. The club's success helped make illegal street racing popular not only in Japan but all over the world and it inspired a lot of other groups to form throughout the country and other parts of the world. This was also the time where many racers dreamed of joining these exclusive and elite street racing clubs. One of the most notable accomplishments was its annual race, the Midnight Run, which was held on an empty highway in the middle of the night. The race was attended by thousands of spectators and was considered one of the most exciting and intense races in the country. The race was also known for its high speed and dangerous driving. It was considered a ride for passage for the club's members. The downfall of the Midnight Club was a long and slow process that was caused by a number of reasons. The main reason for the club's decline was the increased pressure from law enforcement. The police and other law enforcement agencies in Japan started to take more aggressive stance towards illegal street racing. The Japanese police increasingly targeted the club's members. This made it difficult for the club to organize races and many of its members got arrested or fined. Internal conflicts also started at this point in time. With the quick growth of the club, it became more of a hierarchy, which led to conflicts among the members over power and control, which caused many of the club's original members to leave. The club's members started to face serious legal consequences as well. A lot of the members were arrested and charged with offenses such as reckless driving, illegal racing and endangering public safety. Some of the members were sentenced to prison, however, it was only a small portion. But these legal consequences had a significant impact on the club's reputation and popularity. In 1999, they broke one of their main moral codes, which was to never put the safety of innocent people at risk. Therefore, the Midnight Club officially disbanded in 1999 following a tragic crash that hospitalized six innocent motorists. Many of the members who didn't get caught went underground and people are still speculating to this day what happened to them. Some say they are still racing and some say they don't and a lot of rumors have been spread. The impact of the club's downfall had a huge impact on the whole street racing scene in Japan as a whole. The club's decline marked the end of an era and it was considered the end of the golden age of illegal street racing in Japan. The club's downfall also had a chilling effect on other street racing clubs, many of which either disbanded or went underground. The area of the Midnight Club is remembered and talked about to this day and is a legend in the JDM world. Even though I don't encourage reckless driving that could endanger other people, I would have loved to experience this at least once. It sounds thrilling and it sounds like something that will give you a heck of an adrenaline boost. But let me know your thoughts about the Midnight Club and the illegal street racing scene as a whole. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to watch more, then you should definitely click on the video on the screen right now. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.